Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to our channel. So today I am going to be asking <laughs> John juicy questions that girls are too afraid to ask their men. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Yes, hon. Okay. You're going to be asking juicy questions that girls are too afraid to ask. This is why I don't do the intros. I'll stick to the intros. Oh god, <laughs> honey. Alright. Oh, hold on, hold on. She forgot to mention that. Make sure you guys like, comment, sub, help us get the video out to more people so they can view it as well. And the giveaway is gonna be at the first thousand subscribers for the Bluetooth headphones of your choice. So make sure if you guys enjoy the video, go ahead and sub, hit the notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. We usually try to put out like one to two videos a week, depending on our schedule, because we do have six children and we both work full-time jobs. So we do this on the side. Because we don't have anything better to do with our downtime. Yeah, we just can't think of anything better. I know I can't. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it, I guess. Am I okay to ask the questions now? Is there anything else? I guess, I guess. Okay. I guess. What is something that turns you off in the bedroom? That's a hard one to answer as a dude. Cause in the bedroom, we're like, we're like, we're ready to get it. So it's probably be really hard to like turn you off in the bedroom. But I think if I had to pick one thing that would annoy me the most, it would be a woman complaining about something before it happened. Her acting like she's laying there like a dead fish. <laughs> telling you to hurry up, that's annoying. Stuff like that, like that's just a turn off. You know, no guy wants to be in the bedroom with his woman and then she's complaining. Have you experienced this before? Is this something that you've experienced? No, I'm not, don't, I'm not speaking from experience. No guy just wants you to just lay there and okay. be boring and stuff. That's a, that'd probably be the biggest turn off. So would you prefer I surprised you in the birthday suit or in lingerie? Oh, well you see, Mrs. Lewis, this is a tough question for me. I uh, really like either one of those. <laughs> you could you could surprise me in either one of those and I would take what I could get. So, <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a preference. As long as you wanted it, I'm happy. I don't think, <laughs> oh, any, guy, I don't think any guy really cares. If you walk in the room in lingerie or, or in your birthday suit, he's just going to be happy either way. If he actually likes you. Okay, so I guess this is more in general. What is the most unattractive thing that I could do? The most unattractive thing that you could do? Or a woman, female. I guess it's a guy's, I think that's a guy's preference. Like me, I don't care how attractive a woman is. If her personality is total crap and she's a really rude person and like super narcissistic, that is really unattractive and annoying. Like I can't. I can't stand it. I mean, I'm super good looking. I mean, you don't see me just, you know, telling everybody that I'm super good looking. Okay. <laughs> what did I say about you? You married me. Are mom bods a turn off? No. I love a mom bod. Regular bod, doesn't matter. Mom bods, especially if your kids came from that woman, you don't see that woman any different than you would see any other woman. You still see her beautiful the same way. You know that the scars or the stretch marks, if she has any, that something beautiful came from those. So I don't think guys really care about a woman with stretch marks. It, it's like a guy knows what he's getting into. If a woman says, oh, I have children, then yeah, she probably has stretch marks or like some loose skin. That shouldn't matter in any case. What is something that a woman can do nonchalantly that just drives you wild? Hmm, just drives me wild. Or just something, something that drives you wild. Something that just gets you going. Wearing those really like loose pants <laughs> and then walking past cause you just see that booty jiggling and you're just like, Okay. What is something you wish I would do more? Stop talking. No, I'm just kidding. No, no I'm just playing. I don't I'm even talk playing. that much. I love you. I'm just... Shh. Ew. No, what, that you? All right, so something that you do that I wish you did less of? No. Is what that... is something that you wish I would do? There's butter knives and bread in the kitchen. 
like make me a sandwich more or something. I'm the only one who cooks in this house. <laughs> this one over here ubers everything. It's his There's turn to cook wrong and with he's Uber. ubering food. I love Uber. Uber is like the best thing for people who don't want to leave he, their house. He keeps Uber in business. <laughs> I really do. They should give me a membership. If Uber, anybody from Uber ever seen this, yeah. Seen this? Seen this. Seen this. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna have to like sponsor me or something eventually. I seriously order way too much stuff from you. It's just that everything's under my name. I'll Uber from like three different places in one night. I don't even care. I'll Uber my alcohol and my dinner and my dessert all in one night. <laughs> God. <laughs> Would you enjoy edibles in bed? To like playing with food during. Oh, I thought you meant like THC edibles in bed. <laughs> <laughs> like playing, that's why I specified because I knew you were gonna uh, go there. Yeah. What do you mean like? Like playing with food sexually. I'm open to like pretty much anything. Besides, I mean, as long as nothing's going in my chili ring, I'm pretty much <laughs> up for anything. We can try food if that, I mean, I'll Uber the food too. To, you know, we won't even have to go grocery shopping. I'll be like, I'll put it there. I'll put whipped cream, Is it in chocolate there? syrup, <laughs> fucking regular syrup. We can do some honey. We can do whatever. Regular syrup. Ew. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. I love French toast and maybe anything about it. So maybe some Ew. French toast too. No. I'll throw <laughs> some, some French egg toast yolks. on there. Crack some eggs. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> do you wish I would give you more space? Like more guy time, I guess. No. I don't know, because we already don't really get enough time as it is together. So like when I am actually with you, I enjoy being with you. If I was stuck with you every day, <laughs> like stuck maybe- Stuck with me maybe, every day? No, I mean like if I was stuck with you all day long and all we ever- Stuck? No, like if we hung out like 24 no, seven. No, stuck with me. No, no, not like that. But if we were like together <laughs> all the time, then you'd probably be like, can I go golfing? Or can I go do whatever? You it, already be, do that though. Nah, I went golfing like once the last four months. But it, 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 that didn't matter. I think if you don't already get enough time with your significant other, of course it's not gonna be like, a, I need more guy time. And I'm not huge about even leaving the house anyways. If I could Uber my friends here, I would, you know, I'd probably do that. But then, but then again, I really don't like. You're so full of. I'd just rather You be, would not. I'd rather People be by try to, His friends try to come over here all the time and he's always <laughs> making these up, these it, excuses. So it just depends. I just spend time. I really enjoy spending time with my wife. A lot of people don't enjoy spending time with their wives. And I just, I like hanging out with mine. We have so I can much stay fun. awake. After. Do you wish I would stay awake more? <laughs> oh my gosh, huh? We're gonna spend time together. We're gonna drink and order dinner. We're gonna watch a movie and we can cuddle. I play the movie, I say about less than five minutes in. I can't help it. Every time. Every time. And then I just watch the whole movie by myself. And I, I don't know eat my I Uber dessert <laughs> and drink lonely. <laughs> I might cry a little bit. No, whatever. Would you cheat for five million dollars? <laughs> yeah, because I'm pretty sure you'd forgive me for five million dollars. Oh, that's the wrong answer. Honey, I would never do that for any amount of money, babe. What? Nothing, honey. I would let you cheat on me for five million dollars. <laughs> Babe, if I never had to work again, either of us, we'd spend all the time together in the world. And all that money and all the toys and fun stuff I could get would eliminate all the trauma. <laughs> the thing is, it's like, I really believe him. <laughs> that's what the thing is. That's what it, that's. <laughs> all right, my last one. This is a, it's a juicy one. It's super juicy. I don't know. I don't know if I believe her. So. <clears throat> Why do men use the excuse, it's just the way guys are wired, when they check out other women and really? say it's okay? Really? Okay. Okay. All right. So men, and I, I think this is for all dudes. Any guys who watch this, you have to put it in the comments so that way we can prove to her what I'm talking about. Okay, so guys, we're like visual dudes. So like when we look at somebody, we immediately scan like every part of their body, like for no reason. And it's not like, it's just normal. Like they could just probably like even be ugly and we're just gonna look and be like, eh. 
and like you can you can like look at everything and then the same with like pictures and stuff like that you see these girls on instagram and all these other pages and stuff and you're just like we watch it like it doesn't matter it's like watching like porn or something where like we don't it's it's just like a thing that's there but it's not like it's not like oh man like like i wish i had that or something like that because there's then why like, look? Because men just do that. We Not just look. Don't, okay, <laughs> you're a dude out there and you're watching this with your significant other or even a woman. He's so lying if he says, oh, honey, I, I never look at other women. And just like women, I think that's a woman thing too. Women look at other dudes. I didn't say that. No, you, like, I mean, there's women out there, they look at packages and everything. Them gym <laughs> shorts and shit. Ladies out there, don't even lie. You know you would be looking at dudes' gym shorts, looking to see if you can see that outline or them gray sweatpants. Everybody know about the gray sweatpants. I'm pretty sure you were wearing gray sweatpants the night that I met you. Strategy. And guess what? I was wearing something that didn't show cleavage. Okay, you weren't even wearing a bra the night we met. But I wasn't showing cleavage and you didn't even notice. But all in all, dudes just do that. It's not that we want to be with the other woman or that you don't make us happy. It's just dudes have that, like, we just look. We look, it just like, we're, we don't look at some girl and be like, oh my God, this is what I'm fucking stuck with. Uh, like, that's not it whatsoever. We just look and we're like, oh yeah, she's attractive. Like, or that person's ugly. Like, it just, we look, like, no matter, it's like a scan thing, like, scan I'm telling thing. you, it's a scan thing. That's what you do to, like, all, like, women, doesn't matter, like, you just look at me, you analyze from top to bottom. You analyze? Yeah, you're just like, uh, like, but we can do it super quick. You analyze? No, but I'm just saying. Like, that. ooh, I like that. I don't know, like, He uh, analyzes. I don't know. So, like, I, I So just, he doesn't just look. At he this, analyzes. No, at this point, at this point in my life, being 30 years old, I just, I've realized that, like, I'm not, like, the jealous, like, I used to be. Like, I'd be ignorant or okay. something. I'd be ignorant or something to think that, like, my significant other never looked at another dude or never was like, wow, he's got nice arms or, wow, he's got a nice chest or, look at those abs or, you know? I can I honestly think say I don't it. analyze If your other significant guys. other makes you feel secure you shouldn't have anything to worry about now if your dude is constantly watching porn or constantly checking out other women and wants nothing to do with you then there's an issue that's a problem and that's where i would have a problem if she was constantly looking at other dudes or doing stuff about other dudes and i got no attention or she never showed me any love or anything like that that's where the insecurities come in that's when everybody starts start questioning Okay, Does well, I think we spent really a whole lot of time on this question. And because it's a good question. You can really debate this question. But, ladies out there, if your dude shows you all the love in the world and you catch him looking at another chick, it's not that he wants to be with another girl. He just... But see, I feel like just it's just... to look. It's just so... You said I that feel, was it. I, you said it was it. I feel like it's just so disrespectful to the person that you're with to check out other women. It's only disrespectful if you get caught. Just playing. <laughs> He's trying to start a fight. No, He's I'm trying not. trying to start a fight tonight. Honey, I really don't want to sleep on this shitty couch tonight. Well, <laughs> no, it's really not. It it's, is. It's, it is super disrespectful to do that to your significant see, other. Oh my gosh, if we can go about this forever, like <laughs> girls, I know you got peripherals too, and you be look, and women wear sunglasses all the time, so you never know what the hell they're looking at. <laughs> I could ask you, but men wear sunglasses I, all the time too. Just because you don't wear sunglasses yeah. does not mean men don't wear I, sunglasses. I just don't wear them really often at all. I mean, she could be wearing sunglasses, and I don't know if she's looking. And it better if I asked her, she would never admit it anyways. I'm like, wow, did you just see that guy walk by? And she'd probably like, I saw him before you saw him. <laughs> but she ain't gonna tell me that. She's gonna be like, no, I genuinely honey, don't what? even look. What are you, what are you talking about? I, I mean... genuinely don't even look. I don't. Okay, I well, don't. dudes, we just do that. If we, if I'm walking right next to you, if I'm walking right next to you, I, I, and I already see right, like over there somewhere, there's a group of girls coming by and they're in like bikinis or something. You probably just hit a little one time, like a, like a little peripheral one time. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? Oh really? And then, see, that's it. You know, I like, you don't stare. I purposely try not to look at It's almost guys, like a curiosity thing. I don't want to be, 
Like I don't you, want to be you, disrespectful to no. him, so I purposely no. But don't you even like look. put all the men in a room, and there's a button that says "Don't press this." Somebody in the room's gonna do it. Like we just have to. It's just a curious thing. It's like, a, and like we just do it. Like it's not even a bad. I don't think it's anything that bad. Like it would be. I'm not, at least I'm being honest. Okay, at least I'm being honest. I'm like, babe, I never, I'd never looked at another woman since we've been together. Oh, trust me, I'd know he was lying. It, it, he would know that he was a deep shit if he actually well, uh, said otherwise. One more time we got here. Yeah, I think uh, think we're all out of time for this uh, this video. This question went on way too long. You got any other any other questions you would? No, that was the last that one. That you think women would want to know? We're gonna have to do a part two. And ladies out there and dudes, I want to see in the comments what you thought about some of these questions. And you got to be honest. You can also go follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. You message us on there and one of us will reply to you because we'll reply to all the messages and stuff like that so don't think we'll ignore you and because we want to know i want to know i want to know about some of these questions what some of the dudes out there and the women think i really do he does i do i love you that's nice <sighs> Why don't you analyze that? Babe, I know you married me for my good looks. She was checking me out real hard. Mm. Sometimes you make me question why I did. <laughs> I guess it's just my awesomeness. Next video is gonna be me asking her the juicy questions. So make sure you like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell so you can see our next video. And we're gonna be doing some shot collar trivia coming up. We got a bunch of good videos planned to so stay with us. Peace.